Hello students, with CBSC examination round the corner and just few days left for your physics paper, I'm sure you people are all anxious to give your best and do well in the examination. So here I am helping you out, giving you some guiding tips to face your physics paper in class 12th. Hi, I'm Dr. Urvashi Raina. I take physics for class 12th from GD Goenka Public School, Vasant Kunj. And at this junction of your preparation, I'm here to give you some guiding tips to overcome that fear of examination. Now looking broadly at the physics as a subject, please don't be scared. Whatever you have prepared, just revise it once again. Broadly speaking, there are three things that have to be done right now. First, do the final revision of your syllabus. Second, solve your mock papers or sample papers. And third, be aware of some common mistakes that children tend to do. And these common mistakes seem to be very silly, but they help you a lot in getting those final marks and giving the finishing touches to your question paper. Okay, so let's just see how to do the final revision before the examination. If you have good time management, if you have planned well, then all you need is a three days for the final revision. So final revision has to be done in four steps. Okay, the first step is indexing of the chapter. Now when I say indexing of the chapter, that means please write down all the topics that have to be covered in this particular chapter. And when you are writing, write the entire heading. Say for example, don't just write torque on a dipole, write the full heading torque on a dipole when placed in a magnetic field, torque on a dipole when placed in electric field, then the things become clear. So indexing is very, very important. Now the second step is look at those topics and see what are the important derivations that you have to do. Now practice the derivations by writing them out. There is no other way to solve or learn the derivations but write, write and write. Okay, here I like to give a little tip to you people. If there's a derivation which is long enough and you find it difficult to learn, then what you should do is learn the first two steps and learn the last two steps. Guaranteed that you will get full marks. But it's important to know the final step and the initial step. And these derivations are what will cover your long answer types that is the last section of the question paper five markers all the three questions in this particular section are usually derivations so this will cover up your 15 marks of the question paper then the third thing that you have to do is to practice the numericals solve the numericals now if you are good at mathematics and you have practiced enough numericals then go ahead and solve numericals from each section if you are not so very good at numerical portion then i suggest just do two or three numericals that two simple numericals uh, from your main ncrt book but if you are a person who has been scared of numericals no issues just leave this part just leave this part your numericals constitute only 10 to 15 percent of the question paper and you need not to bother about that if you are scared of numericals physics is much more than the numericals now when this section is tackled then comes the last section that is the conceptual questions now in this particular question paper as you must have seen your conceptual questions come in the form of multiple choice questions and they come in the form of reason and assertions now for this particular section i would advise just take up the book and go through it it's more of a mental physics rather than a written portion written you have to do for the derivations for mcqs and reason and assertion just read the question understand it mentally find out the answer so these are the four steps by which you have to do your final revision now again I reiterate, if you have enough time and your time schedule permits you, take your three days for final revision. First day you people can 
uh, complete your electrostatics, your magnetism and current electricity. Second day, you can complete your electromagnetic induction, alternating currents, e e electromagnetic waves and both the chapters of optics. And third day, you can focus on dual nature of matter and radiation, atoms and nuclei and semiconductors. Okay, But if you are short of time, then you can uh, squeeze in the third day between the first and second day. Now, once the final revision is over, the second step is to practice sample papers. So, minimum of five sample papers and maximum of 10 sample papers have to be done if you want to ace this particular examination. Now, what is the way you have to solve the sample paper and uh, what are the common errors that people make? Now, sample paper, when you are solving it, understand that first thing you should remember is that sit at 10 or 10.30 to solve the sample paper so that your body clock tunes to the board examination. Second, what you have to understand is that take your sample paper as seriously as you would do your final examination. That means read all the questions twice so that you understand the question properly. Most of the times, the language of the question is twisted, but the answers are very, very simple. Third thing that you have to understand is that wherever necessary, make the diagrams. Do not forget to put the arrows. Do not forget to put the vectors. Do not forget to put the direction of current in your circuit diagrams or ray diagrams like that. Okay. Another thing that is a common mistake is not giving the direction of vectors electric field, magnetic field, force, specify the directions and everything will be fine. So with these certain tips, if you face your physics examination, I'm sure you'll do well. So here I am blessing you all, all the best for your physics examination. Thank you very much.